Hey, hey, everybody, welcome back to Code Responsive Website with Bootstrap 3. That was my radio voice. This video is called Coding the Thumbnails. And by thumbnails, I mean this section right here, these little featurettes that have some more course info with a little price tag up in the top here, some info and a button to take the course or learn more. So we're going to code that HTML right now. It's super easy. Go to your HTML. Scroll down to the more courses ID, the div with the class of row and the ID of more courses. In there, we're going to start by adding a div with the class of call-12 because we want all the content to be within a 12 column grid. We're gonna utilize the grid in here. Add a level three heading. Learn more about web design. For your own websites, you can these can be whatever, I'm just, um, shamelessly promoting my courses all right so div class of thumbnails and the class of row close that div and row so within that we're going to add a div with the class of call dash six so we're gonna have um, if this makes any sense to you we have this 12 column grid here and then six columns here, six columns here. So that's why we have the HTML uh, with the class of call six. In that, let's add a div and give it the class of thumbnail. Okay, and now add the image. Images slash item underscore web hosting 101 that should be in your images folder alt web hosting 101 okay so you're going to add the caption div class caption and caption add a level 3 heading web hosting 101 and uh, let's add a paragraph tag and we will put some text in here some descriptive text of what this course is about learn how to publish your own website live in no time with this web hosting crash course plus set up your first WordPress site in five minutes then we'll add the buttons P it's a paragraph tag add an a tag in there and we're gonna put the link to the course which is udemy.com slash web dash hosting dash 101 class button button primary and button small that's a new class we haven't used yet and target underscore blank to open it in a new window or tab okay and then close that a tag remember to do that and then the text will be take course and then add a space to add the next button ahref Let's add the same link and target underscore blank class button button small and button link. We're going to use a button link and then close that a tag and learn more will be the text. Save that. Let's check out what it looks like. There it is. Here's the thumbnail, the image, level three heading and descriptive text and then the buttons, the primary button and the button link. And they both should link to Udemy and open in a new tab. So let's add the next one. All you need to do is basically copy the column six HTML and paste. And we're just gonna change a couple things. Let's actually change the first one just to be consistent with the website. This will be psd to html 5jpeg the alt text will be psd2 html5 and css3 and then we'll change the h3 to psd2 html5 and present css3 and um, let's change the descriptive text learn how to take a psd and turn it into a beautiful hand coded html5 and present CSS3 website with this web design crash course. 
All right, and then we'll put the proper links in there, and that link would be udemy.com slash build beautiful HTML5 website. We'll replace this one as well. Save that, and let's see what that looks like. There we go, PC HTML5, CSS3, web hosting 101. There is one thing that we're missing, and that is the little labels up here with the price tags. So let's add those. Okay, in the first one, the first column six, the PSD to HTML5, let's add right within the caption, just under the text here. Let's put a div with the class of label and label-success and also add the class of price. We will style this further. Close that div and then put a span tag in there. And we're going to put a glyph icon, glyph icon, glyph icon dash tag. Close the span tag and then put $39. But around the dollar sign, we're going to put a sup tag. I like that tag. This is also known as the superscript tag and it will take whatever is within it, make it small and bring it up a little bit so when you see those dollar signs where the dollar sign is small and a little bit higher up uh, that's what this will do and bootstrap has default style typography styles that will make it uh, achieve that uh, that style so save that and let's see what that looks like so there's our price tag uh, it looks a little bit funny let's um we're not actually done styling it yet but let's change the position of it i don't actually like it there so take it out and cut it and let's just put it under the image. Let's see what that looks like. Good enough, because we're going to do a little styling to make it look better anyway. So let's copy that label, paste it under the image on the next thumbnail, change the label success to label info. And then glyph icon tag is good, but then change the price to free and take the superscript tag out. Save, let's refresh. There it is, free and $39. So that's it for this lecture. In the next one, we're actually gonna style these just a little bit to make them work a little bit better and to make these labels, these price tags, show up in the top corner where they are in the final website. So we'll see you there.